Hey everyone, welcome back to season two of our workout tips. Today we're gonna to bring in a strength training with some dumbbells and kettlebells. For today's workout, we've got a series of exercises we're gonna do with a finisher. Um, so we're gonna start off with a vertical jump and stick. So with your vertical jump, you're gonna be standing shorter width apart. I'm gonna hinge back, squatting down. Knees are gonna be slightly bent, arms come back. I'm gonna jump up and hold lower. You're gonna pause here for two to three seconds, making sure those knees don't buckle in, keeping it pushed out. You're gonna do four by three of that, rest after a minute after the three, uh, three reps. Next one, you're gonna grab a, either a kettlebell or a dumbbell, and we're gonna do a goblet squat, but it's gonna be nice and slow, so an eccentric goblet squat. You're gonna hold it up at the chest height, feet shoulder width apart. I'm gonna push those hips back, core nice and tight, chest tall, and you're gonna go nice and slow down, and explode up. So think five seconds down, one, two, three, four, five, then drive up. So from another angle to the side, we're gonna keep that chest tall, pushing those hips back and down, nice and controlled, and drive it up. Squeezing the glutes at the top. You've got three by 10 of that exercise. Again, rest a minute to 90 seconds there. Next one, lateral lunge. Grabbing that dumbbell again, I'm gonna hold it in my right hand. I'm gonna take a step with my right leg out. As I take that step, I'm gonna push that hip back and down like you're sitting in a chair. As I come back, I'm pushing off, driving up, holding, and then I'm gonna reset and do it again. Drive and hold. Then I'll switch sides, do the left side, same thing. Chest stays nice and tall, I'm driving up through that glute, pausing. At that top, I'm squeezing the opposite glute to stabilize. We're gonna do three by eight of each leg with that uh, kettlebell up on the shoulder. Last exercise in the series of strength moves we're gonna do is gonna be an RDL. So we're gonna do a single leg. I'm gonna balance on my left leg. I'm gonna have the kettlebell in my right hand. So we're going opposite. As I'm doing this, I'm gonna hinge at the waist. My knee's gonna be slightly bent, but not like a squat. I'm gonna hinge at that waist, kettlebell comes down, and then I'm driving forward squeezing that glute as I come forward, keeping everything nice and leveled. I want from my head to my hips in a straight line. You don't want that shoulder to dip, but I'm driving up. Then I'll switch sides and do the same thing, nice and controlled, driving up, squeezing the glute. You'll get a stretch through that hamstring on that exercise. This one you're doing three by 10 on each side. I'm gonna put this kettlebell down. So those are gonna be your four exercises you do in your strength circuit. Now we're gonna do a quick finisher, and I'm gonna start with kettlebell swings. So I'm gonna grab a little bit heavier weight to add some resistance for the kettlebell swing. Same concept as we were doing with that RDL. Hinging at the waist, pushing those hips back. My knees are gonna stay slightly bent, but we're not squatting down. You hinge, and I'm gonna drive up with those hips nice and powerfully right here. When I'm doing that hinge as well, from my head to my hips, stays a nice straight line. As I come forward, I'll be looking straight ahead. So it's a nice, quick motion through those hips. 10 reps there. You'll put the kettlebell off to the side, and I'm gonna do a squat jump. So we're gonna keep it nice and repetitive right here. Getting off the ground as high as you can, driving those arms up to get some height. 10 reps there. Last exercise in the circuit is a plank. So we're gonna hold that plank, making sure those hands are pushed out, elbows tucked in, hold it for 30 seconds. Keep the head to the hips nice and straight, engage the core and the glutes. We're gonna run through that circuit three to four times. Give this workout a try, and we'll be back for next week. Whew, that was one thing. <sighs> See where my heart rate's at. Oh, it's only 97. Apparently I'm not working out hard enough. <laughs>